Hello everyone, happy Tuesday. I love you, sending you a very big virtual hug wherever you are on the earth plane in this now moment. I wanna share this, this image that came in this morning. So a lot of us are becoming embodied. We're moving back into our bodies over and over and over again. And when we move back into our bodies, even though we thought we were in our bodies, we're really now entering in and we're deeply grounding into our physicality. And when we do that, we feel a lot more. It'll feel like you're, you've got a thin skin, right? Everything's bothering you. Um, emotions are high. You're irritable. You're frustrated. You're tired. It's like you've got a really thin skin on. It's because you are coming back into your body. You're feeling. The only way we really deeply feel is by being inside the body. And the reason most of us are not inside the bodies most of our lives is because we don't like to feel the pain, the uncomfortable, even physical pain. So we find ourselves sort of in our minds or even outside the body living a life that isn't embodied. When you start shifting into higher states of consciousness, you are pulled and like, like um, um, ramsacked back down into your body and then you start to feel and then you start to understand traumas that you've had, etc., etc. So we are, many of us, courageously feeling pain, emotional pain, physical pain, mental pain right now. Why? It's the natural process of ascending into higher states, higher frequencies. Your body is going from lower to higher, lower frequencies to higher frequencies. And when that happens, the natural process is that anything that is denser than the frequency your body is shifting into has to be seen, felt, and released. Welcome to trauma. Welcome to emotional pain. Welcome to mental pain. Welcome to physical pain. So nothing wrong with you. We're all going through it. But here's the vision. And I hope that with this vision, it will help you to continue to courageously allow yourself to just see it and feel it. Because there's nothing you need to do other than see it and feel it. Feeling it, just allowing it to be felt, releases it. Okay, imagine yourself, your body is in a bathtub full of water. And the water is the energy or light inside your body. Okay, and your physical body is your, your soul, your spirit, your essence, uh, the being of light that incarnated, okay? And all the water is, in, is what is, is the frequency and light inside your body, and the bathtub is your body, okay? Now, when you're laying there, there's all these little bugs that are inside the bathtub, really annoying bugs, and they bite. Some bite harder than others, but there, there's a lot. Some of us have more than others. And these bu bugs are trauma. They're emotional, mental, and physical pains. And what we've typically been doing is sort of brushing them away. Ow, that hurts, get out of here. Ow, that hurts, get out, right? But the bugs don't go anywhere. They're still floating around. They're gonna come right back in and bite your bot body, right? So what we have to do is we have to recognize, oh, this is actually asking me to look at it to see it, to feel it, pull it off of my body, say, oh, hello there, how are you? Feeling it, that's it. And by doing that, you are literally taking it out of the bathtub and dropping it outside of the tub, which frees up more of the bathtub to just be energy or water. So every time you feel a pain, every, now don't go looking, right? Because if you go looking, for all the different bugs, you're not in the present moment state. You're not in the now. You're, you're, you're wasting energy trying to find all these bugs so that you can ascend, so that you can evolve, so that you can be enlightened. Let the bugs come to you. Let this be a natural process. Don't go searching for trauma. Let the bugs come, because they will. When you're ready, everything comes when you're ready. So here comes another bug. It bites you, ow, I'm in pain. I don't like these thoughts. I don't like this behavior. I don't like this emotion. I don't like this trauma. Great, it's a bug biting you. Take the bug, take the thought, take the belief, take the behavior, take the emotion, take the trauma. Hold it up and just look at it. This is dot, dot, dot. This is sadness. This is anger. This is be afraid of being uh, left, afraid of abandonment. This is um, insecurity. This is not being good enough, right? What is it? What's the bug? 
fabulous. It's not you. The bugs are not you. You're this beautiful being of light floating in this bathtub of light along for the ride. And all the bugs are what collected along your journey. It collected along your human journey. That's it. And now we're just learning to take the bugs and say, oh, wow, that's nasty. I don't like this one. Boop. Oh, wait, I don't like this one. I'm going to feel it. Thank you so much for showing up in my life when I was seven years old. Boop. Oh, I remember this one. This one came when I was 23. Boop. Oh, I remember this one came when I was 32. All these bugs accumulated because whatever happened in the external, you didn't feel completely. So they started collecting inside the body, inside the bathtub. But you are not the bugs. You're not the pain. You're not the emotions. You're not the behavior. You're not the trauma. You're not the thoughts. You're not the beliefs. You're none of it. You're a being of light, a soul, a spirit, hanging out, going through this crazy, powerful, magical human journey, clearing out the bugs. That's all. It's that simple. So here are a couple techniques. I say these techniques every single time for anything because they work for everything. Be the observer in every now. How often are you observing you? Detach from labeling yourself, right? That's what the observer does. You're observing, you're observing, you're observing. I am feeling, I am thinking, I am doing. I am not those. So be the observer. Number two, stay present. Stay in the now as often as you can. Don't try to search. Don't try to become enlightened. Don't try to ascend. Don't try to shift into a higher states of consciousness. Just be present. Because if you try to shift out of the present moment and there's bugs biting you and you're like, oh, I don't like those bugs. I'm going to shift myself out of that. The bugs don't go anywhere. They still hang out in that bathtub until you courageously look at the bugs and say, oh, wow, okay, thank you so much. We try so hard to stay in these higher states, to evolve, to ascend, to shift. Meanwhile, the bugs are just hanging out saying, I wonder when she's going to notice that I'm biting her. I wonder when she's going to notice that we're all around her. No, 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 I want to be evolved. I want to ascend. I want to be in higher states. This means I'm not evolving. This means I'm not ascending. This means I'm not shifting. If I have all these bugs biting me, something's wrong with me. I'm not shifting, right? Quite the opposite. The bugs biting you shows you how aware you are, how you have been shifting into higher states of consciousness because now you can feel the bugs, which means you're inside the body. And now the bugs are saying, hey, can you release me? Let me go. I need to be free. Get me out of this bathtub. And that's all you're doing. So observe, stay very present, stay in the now as much as you can. Stop trying to become anything other than who you are right now because that is good enough. It's always been good enough, always. Three, remember that this is, how the, this is how you evolve. You evolve by staying present. You evolve by feeling the bugs. You evolve by courageously looking at what comes up. That's how you evolve. That's how you shift. That's how you ascend. Four, hmm, this is funny. <laughs> Tell yourself that you can courageously do this. Bring it on. Bring it on, I've got this. Bring it on, I've got this. Where are the bugs? Bring on the bugs, I've got this. Bring it on. More pain comes, bring it on, I've got this. I can feel this. I can courageously see it, feel it, and move it out. You don't have to dive into it. You don't grab it and say, oh my God, what does this mean about me? What do I need to do about this? Et cetera, et cetera. You literally feel the bug biting you, the pain coming in, the thought coming in, the belief coming in, you see it and you hold it out. Oh, there it is. This is dot, dot, dot. Great. Thank you. And all you do is just feel it and that drops it out. When we attach to it, pull it in and create stories and all these other things around it, then you're just holding on to the bug in the bathtub saying, I don't know what to do with this. I don't know what to do with this. I don't know what to do with this. What do I do with this? Somebody help me. What do I do? Nothing. You do nothing. You do nothing with it. You just simply feel it. It's that simple. So observe. Don't try to do anything. Don't try to ascend. Don't try anything other than being the observer. Staying present in the now. Remembering that this is how you shift. This is how I shift. 
This is how I evolve. This is how I ascend. This is how we do it. Four, bring it on. Let's do this. Bring it on. Let's do this. Bring it on. Let's do this. And there you go. Over and over and over again. Your body's the bathtub. Your consciousness, your light, your soul, your spirit, the being of light that dropped in is the body in the bathtub. And all the little bugs are the denser consciousnesses, traumas clearing, and the water is the light inside your body. I love you. I hope this was useful. You are amazing. There's nothing wrong with anything you're feeling. Highs, lows, everything in between. Just feel it. This is how we ascend. I love you.